Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. I'm Marlene Shepherd, and we're here with Kathy Donovan, and we have Kathy Smart joining us again. I know. Yay. What are we going to talk about? Well, one of the things <laughs> Shepherd's talks about a lot is body type, body shape. What's your body shape? What's your body type? How do you dress your body type? And today, beautiful Kathy Smart, nutritional consultant, holistic chef, mad genius in my view, <laughs> is here to talk about how to eat for your body type. It's a little bit of a different conversation yeah. than what mm. we're used to having around fashion, but nonetheless, it does produce a really interesting result, according to Kathy, if you eat properly for the way you're built. So explain what that means. What are body types and how do we do with all this? Absolutely. So 80% of the population, specifically in women, can be categorized in two main body types. We have our apple mm -hmm. and our pear. So I'll call apple is our adrenal, pear is our thyroid. So apple body shapes, what it is, is they carry the majority of their weight in their abdominal region okay. and in their upper arms and upper back. Okay. So the apple body type, they're the types that yeah. tend to be stressed. They tend to gain a lot of weight. And if they overexercise specifically very, very heavy weights, their appetite goes through the roof because their adrenal glands, which are the glands that sit on top of the kidneys, mm -hmm. overwork and get overstressed, creating hormonal havoc and a lot of extra abdominal body fat right here. Who knew? Right. It, it's, it's incredible the difference. And then we have our thyroid, our pear body shapes. And I do the, the apple or the pear because it's an easy way to visualize mm -hmm. it. So the pear, like a pear, you're smaller at the top, but at the bottom you're, you know, you're a, a bit thicker. It's and so your thick. body shapes, if they overdo cardio exercise, they end up, up burning out their thyroid gland. And your thyroid is your master metabolism gland. So these individuals, they typically have larger legs, so they run all the time. But what ends up happening is they end up craving sugar, caffeine, simple carbohydrates, burning out their thyroid even more. So, so what's your advice? So my advice is if a woman is apple, there's always three things I look for and these are three things you do about it. So the first thing is they're gonna have upper arm fat, mm -hmm. body fat in the stomach, mm -hmm. and also they'll have a really hard time dealing with stress. That's okay. what will make them gain weight. So the okay. three things that they do about it is number one, decrease stress through deep breathing, yoga, meditation, that's number one. Number two, decrease heavy weights. Okay. <laughs> and then the third thing is really focus on whole grains, vegetables, and fruits, and decrease the salty foods and the red meats. Whole grains, vegetables, and fruits. Yeah. Where's your protein in there? So great question. So they would get nuts. Their protein from nuts, seeds, and legumes. So they do very well on a very plant-based diet. Okay. And so for your thyroids or your pears, it's the complete opposite. You're like the antithesis of your of the apple. So your pear body shapes or your thyroid, you want to focus on whole proteins. So mostly meat from your protein and heavy strength training. And it's your thyroid body types, the three things I look for, is they're exhausted all the time. They're doing so much cardio and they're gaining weight and they need caffeine to keep them going right. and they crave sugar like it's a drug. Well, it is a drug. Yeah. Sadly. You're saying the pear shape craves sugar. Unbelievably yes. so, because their thyroid gland is so exhausted that they actually oh. need that hit of sugar for them to just keep going throughout their day. So those females specifically, they really need to make sure they're eating protein at every meal. So right. protein coming from fish or it can be from, you know, red meat at every single meal and they need to get off gluten because the gluten protein, it inhibits the thyroid hormone. So people that go gluten-free that have thyroid issues, they notice immediate results. It's inc it's inc I've been doing this for 20 years now, and it's incredible, because people will come to me, they're like, I've tried everything. Yes. I'm like, yeah, but you're trying what was built from everybody else. Mm -hmm. Let's, what's your formula? So it's to find, like at Shepherd's, you find your dress formula, what yeah. looks the best yeah. on you. Well, that's it. You need to find the food that's it's, your formula. Yeah. So are there only the two body shapes then that, that you concentrate on? Great question. Advice? There's four body okay. types. I focused on the two just because it can get pretty sure. pretty um, yeah. extensive and extreme but mm -hmm. the other two are gonadal and pituitary mm -hmm. so your gonadal body shapes they're more like your ovarian shapes they're hourglass but they have a lot of premenopause menopause issues they have PCOS typically 
And you're with PCOS? A polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay. So a lot of women that have had any kind of hormone issues like that, they're typically your gonadal ovarian. Mm -hmm. and I think that's me. Yeah, yeah, a lot. And you're an hourglass. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yes. And then your pituitary is your long and lean types. They're the kind that when they gain weight, they gain weight all over and they look great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of the column shape. I guess. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah, a yeah. perfect way yeah, to say yeah. it. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, so then there's a style for eating for those two types as well. Absolutely. So and your ovarians, like you would want to really make sure you focus on organic meats, okay. lots of whole grains, and really focus on the cruciferous family of vegetables. So your Brussels sprouts, your cabbage, to help detoxify the excess hormones out of the body. Wow. That's a lot of information. Yeah. That's a lot of information. That's a wealth of knowledge that it can is. really help guide people. Right, and because you know we, we're thinking we have to exercise yeah. more, but if you're exercising more and gaining weight, that's defeating your purpose. Oh yeah. my goodness, Kathy, yeah. this is brilliant. It, it's you. exciting, right? It's Jesus. exciting. Work out smarter, eat smarter. Yeah. You know, quality over quantity. It's like being given a key. You know, yes. that's for you. Exactly. It's the same thing as we talk about with fashion, Marlene. You know, yes. when you understand how to dress your body shape, mm -hmm. everything goes easier and you look great and you're not trying to fit into fashion. Yeah. You're making it fit to you. That's so exactly. this is exactly, exactly the same thing. Exactly. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, it's for my pleasure. Kathy. My absolute pleasure. If you have questions for Kathy, yes. comments you want to know more about, ask us because we'll get Kathy back and we'll have some more conversation here. So thank, thank you, you very much for joining you. us. Bye-bye. We'll see you next week. Have a good one.